Well, it's devastating for any parent when their child is hospitalized, especially when they're diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. But that stay in the hospital is being made a little easier thanks to groups like the Valerie Fund. Their mission is to provide support for the health care of children with cancer and blood disorders. And with us this morning from the Valerie Fund is Bunny Flanders. And with Bunny, Sierra Mark and her mother, Carrie. Welcome, everybody. Hi, thank you. Now, Bunny, tell us about the Valerie Fund and the history. The Valerie Fund is a non-for-profit for kids with cancer and blood disorders. We were founded in uh, 1976 by Sue and Ed Goldstein. <laughs> and the mission is to help kids with with cancer and blood disorder and we treat nearly 4,000 kids per year throughout New York and New Jersey. And Sierra is one of those kids yes. that has benefited. You have the greatest smile, Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, let's talk about uh, Sierra. She was diagnosed, she's five years old, yes. diagnosed at three years old with Wilms tumor, which is a tumor on the kidney. That's correct. Talk about how the Valerie Fund helped when she was in the hospital. We, we went into the hospital and um, you know, we were in shock everything we just shut down and um, they took over they just took over they um, gave her things to color and paints and toys in the room and when we were going in for surgery they brought out the iPad and showed took her through the child life specialist took her through everything she was going to see so that it wouldn't be scary for her that really helped now we're looking at pictures of her in her hospital stay we can see all the toys and oh, the Barbie the yes. support that uh, the Valerie Fund helps now I know, Sierra, you're very excited about the walk next week, right? Now tell me, you have this big um, trophy over here <laughs> on the table. Why don't you tell us how you got that? Um, because I went to the team. I heard that you got second place last year. Is that right? <laughs> tell us what the walk is like. Mm. And Mom, you can help out, too. <laughs> is the walk really fun? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many people are going to walk with you? A lot. <laughs> I, I don't even know if we're going to have enough bandanas this year. Yeah. So. And tell us what it means to be out there with so many other families that, it, that are very often going through similar right. experiences. Uh, the walk has grown over the last five years. Um, this year we have over 170 teams walking so wow. far. And I would say that about, you know, 100 of those teams are walking for an individual child like our beautiful Sierra. And it's really an opportunity for the patients and their families to give back to the Valerie Fund. Um, this year, we're really um, getting very close to our goal to raise a million dollars. Um, I think with, you know, a little more help from all our teams and everybody out there, we can really reach our goal, huh? Do you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Now, the Valerie Fund is located in major hospitals in New York, New Jersey, and Philadelphia. And I'm curious, since your family benefited firsthand, what do you want people to know? I, I, we benefited so much from um, being able to be close to home. We have two other children, and we had to try to keep life balanced. And um, for us, being able to drive 15 minutes and be able to get back to go to a baseball game, that really helped. So that, having local support was critical. And you're saying Sierra's doing well now? She's doing well. Great. She We're now in monitor mode. Uh -huh. So that's that's a really big deal. Oh, so okay. It was a rough year. Wow. Well, Sierra, thank you for being here. I hope you get another big trophy. I have yes. this feeling you might get a big trophy. <laughs> Go Very, see our monkey you. runners. <laughs> Bunny, thanks for being here. Thank you. The CBS2 is a proud sponsor of the Valerie Fund Walk and the JAG Physical Therapy 5K Run. The festivities, they all take place Saturday morning at Verona Park in Essex County, New Jersey. For more information, head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We're back in a moment.